I also got a video of her kicking like a crazy baby. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. I make mom and cooking videos. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks so much for your support. Today, I'm exactly 30 weeks pregnant. So in this video, I'll be talking about what's been going on my last week of pregnancy. So that means I have about 10 weeks to go, which is a nice round, exciting number. Uh, it, it'll be here before I know it. I look back to 20 weeks. I was halfway through my pregnancy and about that much further is how much further I have to go. My first baby was born just two days after his due date. So I imagine this baby will be born pretty close to her due date, but of course you never know. So this week, my baby is about the size of a zucchini. I'm guessing that's like a medium zucchini because you know, zucchinis could be anywhere from like that big to like that big. And she weighs almost three pounds. As far as my weight gain this week, I've gained about two pounds, which is a little bit more than I've been gaining, but we also had Thanksgiving in there. So I'm sure that's where most of it came from. This year, we didn't do any large Thanksgiving gatherings. We just got together with immediate family members, but there was still lots of delicious food. Part of my morning routine is to make myself a latte with my espresso machine and I usually will just have it plain with espresso and milk but since it started getting much colder around here I thought it would be nice to make myself some peppermint syrup um, so I've been having a little bit of peppermint syrup with a little bit of homemade hot fudge sauce so I have a little peppermint mocha it's been delicious a nice a nice thing to look forward to in the morning I mentioned last week I picked out the breast pumps that I wanted I actually went ahead and ordered both of those uh, Willow had a 20% off Black Friday slash Cyber Monday sale. Uh, so with the 20% off and the accessories that I needed, that actually made it about $20 cheaper than if I would have gotten the Willow through my insurance. So I did that with the 20% off sale. And then I also ordered a free pump through my insurance. I'm going with the Motif Luna. It has really good reviews. If I really like the Willow, I might not end up using it. I'll just either sell it or give it to somebody in need. Uh, but if the Willow doesn't work out, then I'll have that as a backup and I didn't have to pay anything for it. As far as symptoms this week, I'm definitely starting to get into the third trimester, later trimester symptoms. Definitely my bump is getting bigger. So just in general, it's getting harder to sit on the floor and then get back up or pick something up off the floor. I have to be careful when I do anything like that that I don't hurt myself. I also noticed for the first time when I was putting my shoes on a couple days ago, that that was a little bit of a struggle. I had forgotten how just getting your shoes on and off is a pain. Once it gets a little bit colder, I'll start wearing my big pull-up zip-up boots, and those typically aren't too hard to get on and off. I also love Sperry boat shoes. Those I can just slip on and off. So if it's not super cold, I like to wear those when I'm going to my doctor's appointments or just doing something simple. Also notice I'm getting out of breath easier. You might even notice it in this video. Um, sometimes I just won't even be doing anything and I'll have to take a deep breath to get some extra oxygen. Uh, that's just part of being heavily pregnant, maybe starting to push into my lungs and my other internal organs. So everything just doesn't have quite as much room as it normally does. Um, and I also have more blood. You get about 50% more blood when you're pregnant. So your heart has to work harder to pump everything. And also having gained 21 pounds now, that makes it, makes my body have to work all that much harder too. Uh, I also have noticed my rib cage is starting to expand, so I'm gonna have to pull out my bra extenders soon. My ribs expanded so much my first pregnancy, it was crazy, and they, they actually did go back. It took probably like five or six months postpartum, but they did eventually go back down to their normal size. The craziest things about pregnancy to me has always been how much your body changes and that that's all normal for a pregnancy, but your body just does so many crazy things. I was pretty much back to normal with everything seven or eight months postpartum. It's just so crazy to me to see what our bodies can do. Also this week, I've been feeling lots of baby kicks and I'm pretty sure she's head down. I've been feeling like how I felt with Dominic, more kicks, more harder kicks up here. And then down lower, I feel kind of little jabs, like her little hands. I felt that with Dominic. So I'm pretty sure she's head down. That's not super important until more like 34, 35 weeks where there's less room for a baby to flip if they needed to, but hopefully she's head down and stays that way. I also got a video of her kicking like a crazy baby uh, the other day, so I'll post that in here.
I didn't have a prenatal appointment this past week, so this is a little bit shorter of an update. So I'll go ahead and show you guys my bump. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.